Up next is the long All right, folks. Championship match. I bored you long it's enough Baron with Corbin bullshit promos. Against Edge. It's this time the that the match to settle things is, uh, is happening. Baron Corbin, this man has been on quite a roll. He won a eight-man royal battle royal a few weeks ago in terms of, you know, universe mode. And uh, I think that has allowed him to earn the opportunity to face Edge, the world heavyweight champion. And to be honest, in a no-holds-barred situation, I don't like Edge's chances. As much as I love Edge, I can't I can't choose him. I can't. I need to keep this neutral. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. You're goddamn right it's for the World Heavyweight Championship, JoJo. You're goddamn right it's for it. Making his way to the ring now. The Lone Wolf. Big banter himself, Baron Corbin. Is he a United States champion at this point in time of me recording? I think he's I think he's United States champion. Not bad. Not bad. That might is that his first title he's ever won in WWE? That's another question. Wow. I also like to. It's one thing I do like about 2K though. It's their attention to detail. Because for whatever reason, Baron Corbin always wrestles in a shirt. And maybe because he doesn't have abs and he looks fat and shit. And his belly button looks really awkward. Because um, he's self-conscious or some shit. I don't know. But I guess they they paid attention to Baron Corbin's self-consciousness and used it in the game. So now he wrestles with a shirt on. I don't know if they did that last game, but it's still funny as shit. You know, I actually, come to think of it, now I think about Baron Corbin. He actually, um, when I was watching, uh, when WWE had that Breaking Ground show, which they should really bring back, that the fact that they took that away is a fucking shame. Um, I really enjoyed that Breaking Ground show. They actually, Baron Corbin was featured on it quite a bit. And I want to say Baron Corbin's a dick, but at the same time, I kind of understand where he's coming from, where he was, when he was speaking, like, oh, he just didn't want to be bothered. Like, he was in public places, he was, you know, at a, what do you call it, a bar, watching a band or something. He, he just didn't want to bother, he just wanted to watch the music, you know, have some drinks or whatever. I mean, it's, you can't really hate a guy like that. You can't really hate a guy like that. Anyway, Edge, Edge here is the world champion, and uh, he just has the greatest entrance ever. Matt Austin has the greatest, you know, created superstar entrance ever, but Edge still has one of the greatest entrances of all time, in my opinion. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, Baron Corbin, you know, he kind of comes off as a dick, but at the same time, I kind of understand where he's coming from. Alright, so as I said before, you know, Edge may be world champion, but I don't know if I like his chances or not. I can't tell if I like his chances or not in this, in this match. You know, it's no holds barred, but I don't know. It's no, it's, it's a little hard to tell. Introducing the challenger from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin's face looks fat as fuck. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Nah, though, if you look at Baron Corbin, my boy looks legit fucking bloated. This is all the makings of a legendary night. Anyway, it's the match we've all been waiting for tonight. I will be commentating over it with my silky, smooth radio voice. That gives that probably gives you all nightmares thinking about it. Um, think about it. My my voice could be on the radio one day. That's what I'm working for. That's why that's why I do my shit for. And the bell but yeah, with all Edge strikes first. Of Baron Corbin, so there's no count outs. No disqualifications. Right now, 
They can tell Anything goes. Something amazing. People can beat the shit out of each other yeah, with, with fucking Florida. weapons. This match can really go in either either guy's hands, but I think finisher wise, Baron Corbin I think might be better off because the the uh, what the hell is his, uh, what the hell is his finisher name? End of days. I get I get his. Now that I was going to say the bitter end, but that's Pete Dunne's shit. Um, Pete Dunne's fucking amazing, by the way. As I was saying. Um, end of days might be a better finisher to have in a, you know, this type of matchup. Because Edge, you know, he has to sit in the corner. He has to run to, you know, do what he has to do. He can also do, like, a pop-up finisher. But to be honest, the spear is not something you want to have. I really do think that the spear is not a finisher you want to have against a guy who just has a regular finisher who can just stand there and use it on you. And honestly, I think if Baron Corbin hits one end, end of days, I think this match might be over. Great offense by Baron Corbin. I don't know what y'all think, but I think that's how it goes. That's going to that's going to be how it goes. I think Baron Corbin's going to take one or two end of days, and Edge is gone. He's not going to be champion no more. That will have a new World Heavyweight Champion. See? I push Baron Corbin better than WWE pushes Baron Corbin. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Man, Baron Corbin's head must be fucking hurt. Headache much? See, I'm surprised these guys aren't going for weapons yet. Are we doing this again? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fair enough. The challenger not looking good right now. So that's happened Little twice now. Baron Corbin is guaranteed to have some sort of concussion. Oh man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Hung up there on the top rope by Edge. Edge is in control right now, folks. I didn't give Edge enough credit, but right now my boy is pro proving me wrong. My boy is proving me wrong. He's the reason I have this channel name. But it, and he's the reason, he's the inspiration behind my channel art. So, and he's even on my channel banner. So, yeah. <laughs> They get dangerous out here, especially oh. when there are no count outs. Give it to Baron Corbin, the first person to grab a weapon. And that, Michael, that determines who wins this match. I really do feel that I way. Baron Corbin seen. struck first, and Edge and can't be feeling very good. And he's got, wow, DDT. Impaler DDT on the fucking sledgehammer. What are you doing, with Showboat, brother? What are you doing? Well, we know Edge has a finisher now. We know Edge has one spear. The question is, can he use it? Does he have the opportunity to use the spear? And it looks like he's going for it. Edge is going for the spear. Oh, boy. Spear. No. No. Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin reverses the spear. End of days is coming. Holy shit. End of days. Holy no fucking shit. One. Two. Edge kicks out. Holy crap, what a sequence. Now Edge has to somehow, some way, build his momentum back. Baron Corbin is probably already have on a good amount of momentum now. Wow. Reversal there by Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin is now back in this match, folks. He wasn't in this match for a little while. Cutter attempt there. Beat. Big boot reversed. Belly to belly over the head suplex by Baron Corbin. With an elbow to top it off. Holy crap. To think that the sledgehammer's only been used once. One. Two. Edge says, fuck that shit. You can't pin me. I'm the champion. I can't believe. What we're seeing here. Sledgehammer again on Edge. Man, this is not good at all. He says before and I'll say it again. Why the hell would you throw the sledgehammer out? Are you nuts? Are you an idiot? Or are you both? That was your best chance to win, and now you're just standing there blankly looking at him like a fucking Egypt. Edge is now up, folks. Baron Corbin has now wasted precious time. And now he decides to roll back in the ring. What a fucking pleb. Back suplex there by Edge to Baron Corbin. Edge-O-Matic. 
Edge Omega. This like when's the last time you seen that in the game? Damn. He's taken to the face first. That was actually that move right there was Edge's old um retro edges move in 2K13. Or not 2K, WB13. Shoulders down. One. Two. Three. What? Wow. What? Edge is still champion. What the hell was that? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Okay. That's, uh, different. <laughs> was that even a finisher? I'm confused. I'm legitimately confused. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> wow. Backlash ends in in what the hell fashion. Edge he put the edge omatic. I'm assuming that was a signature. He ended up doing the other move, which I said or he did that move. Wow. That move beat Baron Corbin. Edge didn't even need a finisher. Edge didn't even need the spear. He just said, Baron Corbin's so weak, I'm just going to pin him now. And, and my boy is still World Heavyweight Champion at the end of this pay-per-view. Holy crap. That's something, isn't it? What a match. What a pay-per-view. I enjoyed the fuck out of that. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of enjoy doing this. Now that I think about it, I really enjoy doing this whole talking over the match and shit. Because I actually, not knowing who's going to win is actually more exciting than knowing. Because usually I win anyway when I play the game. So, honestly. Well, on this day, Backlash 2K18 for EBCW SmackDown. Edge retains the World Heavyweight Championship. And now we move on to the Raw pay-per-view in this month, One Night Stand. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Raw.